Yo, yo, this is Simeon Sales. Still, I'm still at it with the track this Raptor R. Did a couple of updates since my last video. Had to get a Willy bar. Had a plastic Willy bar, and I tore that plastic Willy bar all up. So I had to get this metal one. Handles pretty good. Got better control arms. Now that I got more speed, when I take off or when I stop, the plastic ones were bending. So I got more speed. Got a little bit more speed. Got new um, shock mounts. I had to drill. Now, if you have a, a Raptor R, these came off the Slash 4x4. But it doesn't have the correct screws for the clipless body. So I had to drill a hole and put a screw there. Um, I got these arms. These arms, I just finished riding it. As you can see, I'm outside. I just finished riding it. This thing controls real good. It controls real good. This Willy bar, I'm loving this Willy bar. This Willy bar keeps it on the ground. Let me turn this off real quick. Unplug this real quick. But this Willy bar keeps it on the ground. Um, that's the only updates I did so far. Um, finally got the, G the GRPs. GRPs, man, I can't ask for a better tire. Um, these tires, when you ride, they get sticky. I did a four-wheel burnout. They get real sticky, and they handle real good once they get sticky. But that's pretty much it for now. Um, did up my up my arm tooth. I'm at, a, I think, 48, 19 M1 gearing. Could be wrong. I know that's a 19 pinion. I know that's a 19 pinion. But so far, man, did a lot of upgrades. A lot of upgrades. The thing handles. The biggest problem I was having was handling. Even though it got a built-in gyro, it did not handle good. So far, this thing is handling amazing. I already ordered a new body. Waiting for this new body to get here. Because this is my old body. Well, the body I still use. It's still the body I still use. As you can see, having all that speed... <laughs> when no, and you can't handle, you see what happens. All that speed scratches everywhere on this thing. But yeah, so far I just got the um got the GRPs on here. They they lasting pretty good. I've been giving these tires the business, and it, it's taking everything I give to it. Um, I did the upgrade. Like I said, I did the upgrade with this, with the Willy bar. Had a plastic one. These arms are amazing. Thing I was having, the reason I changed the bottom control arms, because when I stop, this will wheel hop. This will wheel hop, but this was bending from putting all the pressure on the front. Like I said, I'm still going to um, do a speed run. I just got to find somewhere to actually open it up. I stay on a cul-de-sac, but I, by the time it opens up, I got to slow it back down. The struts... I wanted stiff scruts, so now I, well, stiff shocks, I doubled them. It's a small shock inside of a big shock, but now, so I don't, I don't have that bounce. I don't want that bounce. The thing barely moves, so I didn't want that bounce. I wanted it stiff like that. Um, I am going to upload some speed runs. Just give me some time. I got to find an area to run it. I finally got me one of these. I think today. I ran 57. That was my peak because I, I, I keep running out of road. <laughs> I'm running out of road. But I'm just doing a real quick video. Um, this motor is a beast. What I'm going to do, I got the VXL 6. I ordered a VXL 8. 8S. I'm going to go ahead and run 8S. That motor can handle it. Now I got better control of the car. Got better control of the car. So now I can handle some more, a little bit more speed. And I also ordered some, some brush guards here on the bot on the bottom. It's metal. It comes covers the front, this front area, and it covers this area. Ordered it from Japan. It's not gonna be until like the 19th. But I like my suspension because it doesn't drop down. This thing does not drop. Got a little bit of bounce to it. That's it. A little bit of bounce to it. That's exactly what I want. But just stay tuned. I'm uh, I'm gonna run a speed run, man. 
I've been doing speed runs, and every time I did a speed run, I kept flipping, crashing, flipping, crashing. I want to do the perfect speed run. But right now, I think this thing's about ready for that perfect speed run. Have any questions, comments, where I get these parts from? They was dirt cheap. This um, shock towers and these lower arms all together came up to like 30 bucks. But the thing is, it's hard to find stuff for a Raptor. So I got this off the Slash 4x4. Did get this off the Slash 4x4. All of this came off the Slash 4x4. The, the lower control arms, the shock tower mounts. Like I said, with the Raptor, you got the clipless body. So it's no holes on here. I just drilled a hole. As you can see my drill bit went there. And here, I just got lazy. <laughs> drilled one hole, zip tied that one. But I'm going to drill the other one. Since I got these lowered, I also had to put these spaces in here as well. All right, so I'll keep you updated on what's going on, and I'm out.